Hello, uh, welcome to another Warhammer Wednesday. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I've been dreading, not dreading, strong word, apprehensive about feeling this. This is my first foray into playing Warhammer Fantasy. Um, excuse me. If you've been watching um, in previous videos, um, you'll know that I've been, the whole purpose of this, uh, this series was to actually start to play and learn how to play Warhammer Fantasy. Unfortunately, uh, Nurgle happened and that plan got put on hold, um, but I thought I do really want to learn how to play. So I came up with an idea of le play, use, playing, learn how to play via skirmish uh, walls. So it's not quite exact, but um, with sort of, it'll do for now, I guess, I think. But yeah, so basically don't expect if you're new to this, this channel when this is your first video don't expect this to be a smooth playthrough or to learn there's going to be so many rules mistakes and whether you're new or old I kind of ask you to go gently on me in the comments and um, be constructive uh, if I go wrong please please let me know so I need to learn I'm sort of um, relying on you guys really for this so um, uh, there is a previous couple of videos one where I talk about what edition of Warhammer I have decided to start with and that's sixth although I do plan to sort of play fifth really as well so I've got a fifth edition box set and then the second one was uh, what game I'm like, talking about skirmish what game I'm gonna play and there's a scenario in the skirmish book called uh, Trolls Under the Bridge <clears throat> so we're gonna play that today uh, and that involves getting a Bretonian force which hopefully you can see on the sort of scrolled up on the screen it's a uh, Paladin, uh, he has a sword, lance, heavy armor, shield, mounted bardic warhorse, uh, questing virtues, who's immune to panic, three men at arms with halberds and shields, three bowmen, and one damsel and a lady mounted. And I, it talks about picking magic, so I, I am randomly, is how you do it. But for this, I kind of looked at the spells and some of them I thought would be just too much uh, information for me to take in, so I just picked an easier one, which was like a magic missile one. So it's uh, burning, uh, law of light, burning gaze, cast on five plus 24 inches, does d6 strength four hits. Um, so, you know, simple magic missile is just very common, you know. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we've got, it's a, um, Troy's Under Bridge is, uh, what is it? Once the roadways were safe, but lately parties of brigands and worse have been relaying travelers. This being the case, a small force of uh, arms has been chosen to escort a fair maiden Guinevere to the nearby town of Brishgon, where she is to wed a powerful duke. Unbeknownst to the bridge, to, uh, bride to be and her bodyguards, a duo of loathsome river trolls has taken up residence underneath a toll bridge. Fed by a constant stream of visitors, the vile creatures attack and attempt to devour all who dared cross. Now, I've only got uh, one troll model, uh, one river troll model, which is here. So this is just a normal troll, so for the purpose of this game it is a river troll rather than a normal troll. Battlefield is two foot by two foot uh, with a uh, road going diagonally across and a river going diagonally across the other way with a bridge in the middle and sort of some sort of tower thing here. Um, objectives, Bretonians have to get off the northern board edge, that's this one up here. Uh, if both Sir Duclaw and Guinevere escape from Northern Edge, uh, it's a win. The men at arms are expendable. Uh, so that's all my troops, that's fair enough. Uh, that's cool. Uh, the Trogs objective is easy. They are particularly hungry and want to uh, put out of action as many humans as possible in order to let drag them down to the watery uh, caves and feast on them. Trogs may claim victory if they've eaten at least half of the Bretonians' party total. If Evil, any other way it's a draw so it's going to be four models they kill four models uh, it's a win so whilst my <coughs> men at arms are expendable I don't want them to die uh, Bretonian set up uh, deploy first deployed on the road six inch from south border so they're down here uh, one troll sits on a bridge exactly six inches from the closest Praetorian so that's going to be this guy the other troll must start anywhere more than six inches away let's go and check that so make sure if I've got that yeah so six inches away in this bit here I thought that makes sense uh, special rules fog uh, 
Due to swirling fog and limited visibility, all movement value should be counted as half, including charging, running, and shooting. Ouch. Creature's dumb habit, trolls under the bridge have become so practiced and cunning uh, to take out wayfarers that trolls within six inches of bridge is allowed to, to take stupid, stupidity tests to double their normal uh, leadership rate, so that means they're going to be taken on eight. Uh, all alone, we ignore the all alone rule. Uh, route tests, uh, we ignore routing and fleeing. Duclaw and Lady Guinevere are both immune to routing, as long as one of the characters is alive, the men at arms are immune to routing. None suffer, no, they still suffer from fear and all alone rules. Enchant to spell, we've got that picked. Um, also, I'm also taking, I'm gonna use the house rules suggested in the skirmish book. So uh, in bow fire is minus one for an individual target. That seems pointless to me for a skirmish game. So I'm doing the house rule where that's ignored. Um, it's a skirmish, so in the proper game, I'd get back into that. Also horses, any hits on mounted warriors, uh, the first hit gets on the horse, so it means the horse dies after, after saves. Um, my goodness, I am so worried about this game. So I think there's nothing, oh, Britannians go first as well in this. So I think there's nothing for it but to uh, to just start. So a uh, yeah, quick glance, they move four, so they've moved two inches. Uh, trolls move six, they move three inches. Uh, so that means charging's four inches. That's a good point actually. I've I told you I'm worried about this. My mind is going blank, which is why I wanted simple spells. Um, charging? How do you charge? <laughs> Dumping movement rate. Right? Uh, close combat. Well, that's going to be movement, isn't it? I just, just want to make sure. Problem is as well, boy, I've been playing a lot of games in this. So. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, so it's double movement. Okay. Um, what I might do is, some point in the future, revisit this scenario uh, once I've got my head around the rules better. And sort of play it again once I've got the rules. So this is just me first dipping my toe into it. So let's crack on. There's going to be no recovery. Uh, movement. Uh, well, okay. So we're just going to... I'll move four. I was... I'm hoping I could charge him, so he's six inches away. That means I can't charge him. So we might as well just move up two. I'm gonna move him to, him to, him to, and we'll move these up here behind. I really wanna break away. Um, yeah, hmm, hmm, okay. Uh, magic blatantly doing magic uh, so what do we do we get two free magic dice i believe because i'm going to be consulting this book a lot um and this is where i want my first bit of uh, help from you guys uh so where's, where's magic 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 so yeah here we go so power dice uh first level wizard so basically we get two Boom, got two. I'm gonna use gold dice for for this. So going is gonna do a magic spell into this chap here. I wanna break through. So you get two basic, each first level wizard plus one. She is a first level wizard. Now, uh, I'm not don't have to worry about dispelling anything, so but casting, first level wizard can only use two dice. So <clears throat> it means I've got one left over. Can I cast two spells in one turn? and try and cast it, say it's five plus, could I just use one dice to get five plus, which that'll work, so I can cast two spells. Or is this unusable? And if it's unusable, does it carry over? So if I don't use a power dice, does it carry over to the next turn? So that's the first two bits I wanna know. Can you cast more than one spell in a turn? You know, I can use for one spell, I can use two dice. So I'll cast two spells. This is right, isn't it? How to cast a spell. Well, for example, one dice scores four, the result is four. If two dice score four, six, the result is ten, yada yada. So, in attempt to do, so that time that was foul, that one, but then this one I need five plus, so that, that will work. That's a t uh, eight. So, what I'm doing for this until I find out the answer is I'm saying I can cast two spells and use, or three spells, cast as many spells as I want until power dice. 
and my power dice don't carry over. So if I don't spend them, I lose them. So that's how I'm playing this at the moment. So we are going to cast... Um, what's it called? Burning Gaze? Burning Gaze. So on that troll. So it's 24 inches, so I guess it's half if it's magic. It's 12, but that's no worries. Uh, so I cast it. It's a 5 plus, so it does D6... D6 strength 4 hits. So it's going to do oh, one hit. That sucks. Okay. <clears throat> so now, I think. Uh, four hits. Strength four. And I should be way more organized than this. I do apologize. Uh, special rolls there. Toughness is four. Strength four. So it's four. So. So I get a six, so that's a wound on a troll. They don't have saves, do they? Because they're not armoured, I don't believe. So I have blue. And it's a burning thing, so we lose his regen thing. So that's kind of cool. So he's got two wounds and green. That's three. Cool, okay. So now I'm going to try that again uh, on him, really. This could be a really short game. Uh, I'm actually going to try it on... I don't think you can really see him. So it's going to be blue guy. So yeah, it casts. How many strength four hits there? One again. So four plus does another wound. Okay. So he's down to one wound. That's cool. Oh, shooting. Okay, so I have some arches here that are going to go into this here. We have some arches here shooting over here. So that's three arches. So going to do them one at a time, don't you? I guess because it's not an actual unit; they're individual units. So <clears throat> so let's get the shooting bit up just to. Find a cycle suit, hitting the target. Um, so they have a, I'm so nervous. <laughs> a ballistic skill or bow skill, ballistic skill of two. So I need a five plus. So let's do him first, then him, then him. So five plus for the first guy, nope. Second guy, nope. Third guy, nope. So no one does any shooting anyway. So that's terrifying. There isn't any combat. Uh, so it's trolls recovery. Hang on, this is skirmish, isn't it? So he doesn't. Or oh, strength hit. So I think I might have gone wrong already. I've done it like a normal thing. So I bring up the skirmish rules. So he's done two wounds. Determine whether hits scored. Roll d6 for each one of fighting. One all has one attack. Well, it's scored hit now. It depends on the weapon skill the attacker can from. Yeah, critical hits. Injuries. Most out around a wound. Target has more than one wound. You duck one wound from each time it suffers a wound. As soon as fight of wound to zero, determine the extent of its injuries. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what it is. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, so the troll's going to move. So we can't pre-measure. This is where I'm going to go wrong. So there's no recovery as of yet. Uh, so movement. Uh, I'm just going to move this troll here. So it's three inches. So it's going to come towards these archers. And this troll is going to charge. So he's going to charge, and it's six inches. I know he's six inches away because I know you're not allowed to pre measure, so he can charge. So, wait, I forget the order of. Do charges go first? I told you this is going to be a bit weird, this, this game. I'm going to move that troll back, so I think. Shoot him. Okay, so start turn movement. 
There's movement, declare charges, yep, so he's going to charge. Rallying, fleeing troops, nothing. Compulsory moves that aren't anything. Move charges, yes. He moves first. He's going to go into two, I think, because that just seems sensible. And so then it's remaining moves. So you can move the river green troll, can move three up to there. Okay, they don't have magic. I don't have shooting. I just want to combat. Okay, <clears throat> this is terrifying me. I don't know why. Uh, attack three. So my men at arms have a toughness of three. Uh, they have a weapon skill of three. So it's three dice. They have three attacks as well. Uh, attacker's weapon skill three. My toughness of three. I do have shields. What do shields do? I think that saves, isn't it? So they need three, so that's three hits. <coughs> okay, we we'll resolve these one at a time. Uh, weapon strength. I have a strength of five. They're attacking with just teeth and claws, don't they? I think that's right. I'm right, I think. I don't have actually weapons, so attack, weapon strength, five. Hang on, I think it doesn't really matter anyway. It's opponent strength for two, rather than that's this toughness. Three, fives versus threes. Fives versus twos. Okay, so. He's taken an injury. The first guy here has taken an injury. There's a trap here. Taken an injury. So this is where we need skirmish book. As we roll to see, he's now got zero wounds. What happens to him? Three, he's stunned. Falls to the ground where he lies. Turn the model face down, show that he is stunned. Okay. Now for the next attack on him, two pluses, nope. Last attack. Five plus, that's that will do it. So what happens to him? Four, he is stunned. So they're gonna lay you face down. <clears throat> okay. Yeah? Is that right? I think that's right. I think. So, sorry about how non-exciting and bitty this is, but this is me trying to learn how to play. Um, so I need this out for recovery phase. Because now it's going to be recovery. During recovery phase, you may attempt to rally models that have been, or, uh, and recover models who have been knocked down or stunned. <coughs> Recovery phase. Um, <coughs> uh, during the recovery phase, warriors in the force that have been stunned become knocked down. Recovery phase, that stun become knocked down. Any knock down. So stun's the worst, so I turn him up face up, show they're now knocked down. Okay, I might have to buy some, um, or make some markers for these, rather than putting them on the floor. Okay. So, movement, what are we doing? Just gonna move, I think. Just going to move. Oh, this is terrifying. Um, haven't even got past the bridge yet. Um, okay, so. I'm going to charge actually. I'm going to do some charging. So I'm going to charge with him and then charge with Declaw as well. So. 
that's what we're doing. So they fear some, so they need to pass a leadership test, but they have peasant's duty, so I can use the leadership of Duplor, so that's eight. So I think it's right to do a test, I think it's psychology, it's one of the other areas I thought I'd get very wrong. So let's do the men at arms. Yeah, so you can come in, he's gonna charge. And Duplor himself. Uh, yeah, he's going to come in to the front, and then she can't really move, so she's going to stay here. She's going to actually come back diagonally to there, so she can see that troll. Because it's now magic, so she's going to get three dice, two dice on five plus. Yep, does D6 strength wounds, four D6 strength wounds. So I'm hoping we can get this river troll out of action. Um, Sign up the chart. Wound chart, so it's doing T4 wounds on it. I guess. Oh, in it. D6 fell four hits, yep. Strength four hits, yep, 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 okay, Kev, pay attention. Four, so four is needed, so one wound, two wounds, three wounds. So that is a troll down to zero wounds, so that's good. Okay, so magic's my friend. So what happens to the troll? It gets knocked down, so. to place troll face up to show it's not down. I might have to uh, get some markers here so I face up face down just seemed weird. In that case we're going to go into shooting and they're going to shoot the remaining troll. Uh, so there's going to be these traps here into this troll here. Uh, one hits and doesn't do anything. Okay. Nope, gonna need this book on her. Because we are on to combat. Uh, okay, so let's do this man at arms here. Uh, yeah, let's do the man at arms. Attacker's weapon skill. Uh, two versus four fours. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, weapon strength. Ah yeah, okay, so he's got help, he's got plus one strength. So three fours versus fours. Fours, come on, take his last wound. No, it's a three. Okay, Duclaw. Uh, it's three attacks, sweet. And he has advanced plus two strength, so he's full sixes. If he charged in the first turn that he charged. Yep, I didn't do saves last time. I'm gonna forget saves. So, uh, six fours, so it's twos, so they all hit. Uh, oh, hang on, what am I doing? Oh, it's weapon skill, so I did three dice. Attacker's weapon skill is five. Troll's weapon skill is three, so it's threes. Okay, so two hits. So now it's sixes versus four twos. So that is him out. So he's lost two wounds. So that is him down to zero. So he's, each time we're gonna potentially take him out of the game, he just gets put face up because he is stunned. Okay, well that's kind of cool, I think. Uh, I think I missed armor saves for my guys last time, didn't I? Um, I'll remember next time. I'm not gonna lie, terrifying doing this. Okay, so it's recovery, I need the book again, because 
I think they stand up, but can they move when they've recovered in skirmish? Uh, during recovery, any fire has been stunned, knocked down, might have been rallying. Yeah, you can. I believe. Oh, the model cannot move or shoot for the rest of the time. That's so, not down. May move at half rate. So, when they stand up, they move at half rate. Okay. As we can't free, so he's going to stand up. And he's going to move an inch and a half. And this one's going to stand up. And we can't charge, we're going to move. So that's that, I believe, is what it said. I don't think we can charge. Uh, Though he cannot charge yet, so they can't charge his turn. Okay, that's pretty much all they can do. Move. I might just move him an inch and a half back then, just so he can try and, we can see him breaking away, so he's going to try and catch him. Okay, no magic, no shooting, no combat, recovery. So we are going to stand our guys up now. And I've gone from stun to stand in. And we're not going to charge. Him, or are we? No, we're not. We're going to go out there. We're going to. Oh, I'm going to get this bridge crossed so uh, two inches so I'm not going to charge I haven't moved on to movement have I uh, these are going to go two inches this way like so so we're on the bridge finally okay magic totally uh, five plus. No, it doesn't do it. it. Doesn't do it. Does it on that one? How many wounds do we get? And we are firing a blue troll. Four wounds. Uh, so four strength, four hits coming through. So fours. That's only one wound. So let's see what happens to him. Please be a five or a six. It's two. So he's just stunned. That's kind of okay though. Uh, shooting phase, so I'm gonna have to print some charts out, some bits and pieces out for this as well, because like this here, where is it? The charting thing where a ballist I have a ballistic skill of Bowman, Bowman have three. Ah, oh, they're three, not two. I was looking at the wrong one last time. So let's just see. So it's fours they need. Okay, so you get one hit. So he's going to try and go down to here. Uh, <clears throat> one chart weapon skill. Uh, weapon strength is strength three. That's all fives. Come on. Yeah, that is six. Right, come on, we need a five and a six now. So one, so he's stunned. As long as we can keep stunning these trolls, that will do, donkey. Uh, there isn't any combat. So the trolls are going to recover. So he's going to recover. They're just going to stand up. Again, they can't charge. So he's just going to come back an inch and a half for when he is ready. That's going an inch and a half closer to them. Here's this one down here, getting really close to my bowman. Uh, and that's going to be it for their turn. 
So, plutonium recovery. I don't have anything to recover. Movement. We can get going. Uh, I think he's going to charge. So it's charges first. So hang on. I shouldn't have moved him yet. Yeah, that's fine. So he's going to charge him in an effort to get the lady out. These are just going to come up the rear for now, for now. Uh, these guys are going to try and back off and shoot. Back off and shoot. Back off and shoot. Magic, she's going in. Uh, fives, yeah, she gets that. I mean, D6 hits. She gets six hits. Wow. Uh, she's going to do them all on blue troll. Uh, so that's strength four, toughness. So that's four, isn't it? It is four. I have to print these charts out like I do with SVG so I can have them at a quick glance. That's four wounds. So for each wound, so first wound, two, she's stunned, knocked down, dead. We've killed the troll. Nice one, lady. Uh, shooting, three coming in. Ballistic skill, three, oh, I forget what it is. See, it's things like this, I'm gonna need. Should have printed these out, I apologize. Let me keep looking at this blooming book. Uh, three, I need fours. So, no. Okay, no shooting. Trolls, there's nothing to recover this time. Uh, they are going to, gonna charge. I'm gonna charge this bowman here for great in oh, here this bowman's gonna no magic no shooting combat it's three attacks I think that's gonna be three wounds <laughs> all right attackers weapon strength three Three, two, it's fours, yeah. So, that goes toughness. Five. Five, what's my toughness? Three, five, three. So it's twos. Uh, so, two hits. So, first hit takes him out. Dead in the first hit, so we've lost the bowman. Okay, okay. I'm not too sure if games are meant to go on this long. Uh, we are not doing anything, we are getting the heck out of dodge. So, what is my movement of? Oh, let's move eight inches so I can move four. Oh, 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 we are having a disaster. Oh, oh no, I'm having mega disasters. <laughs> Why didn't I glue him on? What an idiot. Okay, so these are on the bridge. These are off the other side, so. Oh. This blooming fog. So. Two. So what we want to do is hopefully get some, she's far too, far. I think she's now calm. Oh no, she can, she can see him. So I've left a little path down the middle. She's going to see him straight across into his big fat hide. So yeah, it gets it. How many D4 hits? Four hits. Four strength, four hits. Uh, Coming in, and why can't I remember this? It's four pluses, is it not? Four pluses. So only one gets through. 
Uh, is that going to kill him? Nope, but it is going to knock him down, so it's face down. This should be enough, to be honest. Uh, shooting. Yep. They are good, definitely going to shoot. And what I, I'm so nervous I can't remember numbers I'd looked up last turn. Fours. That's four hits. Coming into him, so hopefully we can take him out. Six, that'll do it. strength three toughness just four pluses okay so three hits if any of these dice were five or six he's out he's not he's down okay no combat I think we've I think I've done this I probably made loads of mistakes I did want to get another chance to do an armor save that I forgot uh, so it's movement so he's just, recovery is just gonna come up Tony and Snuff to recover movement. We are I think she can enjoy our wedding. If we get too far away we'll stop. Because I think okay. Ooh, back on the bridge. I'm gonna just Okay. So, she definitely can't see him now due to where she is on, she's right back here, he's down here, there's too much going on in the way, but a bowman can, so fours, one hits, uh, three, three, fives, no, okay, so the troll, will recover so he's going to stand up and he's going to move an inch and a half something desperate might happen I can't see it turning into movement uh, and there will be another turn can we run yeah I might have to run now hang on what's running what is running all about I'm not going to be shooting. Running. Let's have a look at running. Running, running, running. Movement, running. So it's double, just double movement. Okay, that's good. It's kind of what we want. Four to try and catch out of that. Sir, wait for us, sir. Wait for us. Bowman also going to turn tail and run. Okay, good. There's going to be no shooting to run. I don't think you can shoot when you run. No magic, no recovery. But he's going to run after them. So he's got, he can... His movement will be free, so he can move six. So he can get some speed in. So he's going to go there. But I think what we're going to do now, no recovery. I'll move these off. So that, they're off. He's going to run. He's off. These are going to run, these are going to run, so these are off, so I would need to do lead ship, so I'm going to shoot in, troll would run, it's not going to be enough, but it would put him in to here, uh, I'm going to put him to there, enough to get in and we're just gonna saunter off with these so I only lost one bowman but I think I probably made many mistakes um, I think I got the gist of the combat uh, I think I, I made I forgot about uh, my armor save so I have to do that but as a first foray into sort of the rules I quite like them um, yeah quite enjoyed that Firstly, work what he's talking. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, probably made loads of mistakes. Let me know very kindly what mistakes I did wrong. If I missed anything, please let me know 
in the comments so I'm, this, I'm sort of relying on you to help me teach me here um, I will play some other skirmish games uh, next month I've got something planned for next month uh, I think I've got three skirmish games planned so it would help give me between now and then much appreciated uh, and I might revisit this one in the month after that so that'd be November November blimey yes yeah, so I'll probably revisit this in November see if I can do better uh, let me know what tactics you use for the trolls and I can try and implement them into the game but that will be it for this video guys thank you for watching and until next time please take care